Hi, my name is Sebastian. I am a music composer and in this video I would like to show you guys a new software that came out recently called Liquid Notes. And what the program basically does is it changes the harmonic structure of the piece and adjusts all tracks to this change. And to show you how this works I've prepared some very uninspired 8 bars of C minor played by a piano, some strings as the harmony track and an electric bass. And as you can hear, this took me like a minute to create, but it's basically all I need to use Liquid Notes as an ID creating tool. After exporting the MIDI file from the sequencer, I'll import it into Liquid Notes where the fun is to be found. I'll just rush through the wizard here, but you guys can check out how to set things up by clicking on the link I'll post below. Everything seems to be set up. Here are the chord areas and with this slider we will make the changes within the scale. With the buttons we'll change the chord functionality. But what Liquid Notes really is, is a playground. You just try out different chords and the software adjusts all your tracks to these changes. It really is a lot of fun, check it out. I'll go for a different kind of change. I'll change two chords here, the fourth, the third and fourth bar, diminished D and a G. And you can even change chords while the song is playing. Perfect, that's all we need for now. So now we'll do the export import process to get back to our sequencer. I'll just slide the MIDI file to the position I want, and here you can see the actual changes that Liquid Notes made. So the first two bars being the C minor, and third and fourth change D diminished and G chord. Let's say we want to add another 8 bars to our piece, but this time we want to also add another instrument. For example, the cello staccato from the Logic library. We first of all record the new instrument under the first 8 bars. I'll just make sure that the positioning is on the spot. And now we export the first eight bars again and do the same export import procedure, which you always have to do as soon as you create a new MIDI file. So we go through the wizard here again. Set up all we need to set up. and should be ready to go. I'll just check that the settings are okay. And this time we will decide to go for an A flat and we'll just go on from there. Very simple but very effective. I'll just do the same thing for the last four chords. Alright, perfect. We will just go back to the sequencer now and I will position the MIDI file right after our first altered 8 bars and just check if it works. Works fine, great. I've prepared another 60 more bars which I changed in the same way and added some random rhythm samples from the Logic Library and after I unmute this I'll just speed up the piece for fun sake and here you have a piece made in just 15 minutes and here is how it sounds
So this is basically one way how to use liquid notes in the actual creation process. The exporting and importing of MIDI files are a bit of a hassle, I know, but in the end it really is a fast and fun way to find new chords and adjust all the tracks immediately. Thanks guys for watching, I'll keep you posted as there are more videos to come.